Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to do May favorites. And I'm sorry, I'm just going to apologize right out of the gate if I seem really rushed. It's because there's a storm moving in and my backup battery has uh, already kicked on three times <laughs> to keep everything going. So the lighting is wonky and there's nothing I can do about any of this. So let's just move in here. Well, I think the first thing I'm going to start out with is the Mad Lash Mascara. Now this is by no means new to me. Let me look and see what kind of a mascara this says it is. Um, okay, it doesn't say on here. Because of this, I don't poke myself in the eye. It it is a little longer than most curved wands are. But there's something about this formula and this brush. If you do use an eyelash serum, I feel like this mascara is one that will make people wonder, is she wearing false eyelash? You know how false eyelashes have that unrealistic, just every lash is separated, right? They don't glomp together at all. Well, that's what Mad Lash does. If you're looking in the balm for a mascara that will give you more of a, an oomph kind of a feel, then I feel like you should go for Scuba. Both of these are favorites this month, and I've rediscovered how much I love this Mad Lash. But I think that's why Mel Thompson really enjoys this, is because she has all of these eyelashes, right? And this mascara grabs them and makes them look like all individual eyelashes on her eyes. That's what it does. The next thing that I have is the Ulta Brow Tint in Medium. All right, now I have never tried a product like this, like Gimme Brow. I had brows, but they were thinning like most of you. Um, at the tails, I didn't have hardly any hair at all. In the front, not so much. In the middle, kind of thinning. But I have taken castor, black castor oil and different things through the years and put them in my brows and I have recovered brows. Now, <laughs> I still don't have great brows. So I got this. It's really inexpensive and I do like it. I have to give a warning though. The way I use this is I think this just pulls off way too much product. And I don't know if it's because it's the Ulta brand or if Benefits would also do the same. The way I use this is I pull it out and then I will rub it on the side like so to get all the excess off. Because I have found that when I take this and just pull it out of there and go through my brows, <laughs> <laughs> There's just way too much of it and you can't control it. So then what I'll do is I will take it and just roll it on a Kleenex. So I get that much of it off there. Then I come through and I just barely touch my brows with it. Now this shade is a little dark, I think. It's not the right shade. I've done that today. I really do kind of want to give the benefit a shot now just to see. Is it comparable to this or is it better than this? I know when it comes to the brow setter gel, I've not found a gel yet that compares to that one. So I'm thinking maybe the benefit is better uh, than this one, but I don't know that for sure. This uh, is pretty good. Just like I said, make sure that you wipe it off and you know, it's questionable. If you're having to wipe off this much product when you do it to get the look you want, how much are you throwing away? If the Benefit one, and I'll report that back to you after I've tried the Benefit one, if the Benefit one is the same, you may as well get this. Just get this one because if you're going to waste product, then it, make it an inexpensive product that you're using. <laughs> okay, brushes! You'd be like, stop with the brushes already, Mary. All right, these, I want to talk to you because um, Royal Lang Nickel, I, I talked to you, but I never really showed you any of their brushes in my brush video. This just in, since we're discussing brushes here, before this gets started, I wanted to let you guys know that Sigma saw the two-part brush series that I did, you guys, and they liked it so much that they're extending a double discount for the Fritzy family during the entire month of June. Normally, you guys get 10% off using the code Glitzy Fritzy, but now you get 20% off for the entire month. And I wanted to let you guys know, since tomorrow kicks off the 1st of June, go us. I, I want to talk to you today because of these. Royal Lang Nickel has quite a few lines. Moda is one of them. I am a Moda maven. Um, 
but this brush here is natural hair okay i'm out of control here i know <laughs> but guys royal lang nickel is having a sale right now for 20 percent off the omni line and i just did a test run so the family code still works on the sale price so you guys can majorly score great prices right now from both sigma and royal lang nickel how about that links are below affordable natural hair pretty good brush i like it it's supposed to be for powder i think i don't know which one this is this is the bomb 36 powder of the omni line it's supposed to be for powder but i like it for the cheeks I wanted to try their other two Omni lines to see how they compare because they have the Omni line that deals in natural hairbrushes, of which I picked up this one. Now, this is a perfect brush for small eyes getting in the crease, staying right there with it. But what I really like this for is coming under my eyes. I use this today. Can you see that? Just the tip of that just moving just a teeny bit. I mean, just a teeny bit. See, I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, well, this will let you come right into a shadow and then bring it underneath your eyes and trace it under here. But then if you push just a little bit harder, the fluffies, the tapered fluffies down here will blend that out. So I love this for underneath my eyes, even though I'm sure it was meant to go right in the crease. And it's got a big old long handle on it so I can get the lightest touch with this uh, and, but that will also be something that maybe some of you won't like because the handle is so long. If you need to get right up on top of a mirror, boing, you know. I don't have a problem even though I'm up on top of the mirror because I'm coming at it from this angle. I wanted to pick up the two powder brushes from the other two Omni lines. So this is the powder brush from the gold line which like i said is natural hair bristles and these two are powder brushes from the other two lines so this is the rose gold and this is the professional so this is the bomb 100 and this is i don't know the bomb 02 do you see what it's doing look how floppy so this is a paddle powder brush oh uh -huh, i love it but i love this one too <sighs> Ah, I kind of like this one more for buffing and this one more for setting. I'm glad I have them both. But can I tell you which line of these is best? No. <laughs> I love them both. I might like these better than these. I'm going to get more of them. I really like them. These are resistant bands. And they didn't cost very much. I love it. So you got like the extra heavy, heavy, light, extra light, whatever it comes with. A lot of these in here. I really love that I can put these back in this and just toss it, you know. Uh, unlike my arm weights that I got, which I do really like those, um, it makes it a little hard for my shoulders these days because I'm having a little bit of stiffness in my shoulders that kind of makes it hard for me to lift my arm up with the weights on, even though they're lightweight. These are working better for me to work the muscles and i can do this in front of the television while we're watching television just by switching different angles so far i'm still using the extra light and the light for my arm work like i said because of my shoulders and i'm using the heavier bands for leg work I'm not going you know way out there or anything but for me it works out really good to just stand there and kind of pull my leg a little to the side and this way and I can move over to the island and actually hold on and get a little more aggressive. It's a good thing for me. I've incorporated this in with some walking to try and get active. One of the things that I love the most is I can put it back in here and just kind of toss it aside and they're not in anybody's way. And I don't want you to think I'm being mean. I'm not being mean. <laughs> okay it's the Juno powder and I know that says Becca on it. I I took the Becca powder out. <laughs> Here's the Becca powder. I took it out and I put the second go round of Juno's new powder that's not out yet. I don't even know what they're going to call that powder. Oh, yes, I do. It's called Juno Blur. That's what they're going to call it. Uh, I put that powder in here because I can tell by looking at the packaging that it's going to be delivered through a mesh. And this powder has a mesh. So I put it in here. Now I don't really have enough because they're just giving me little containers of it. I don't have enough to 
really make this worth my while having done that, right? I mean, I really have to press down in there to get it. This is the only powder I've been using other than to compare. This is the only powder I've been using since they sent this and I asked them to please send me more which they did and that's in here. I don't know when this is going to be available for purchase, but the reason I've got it in the favorites is because I honestly am using this and love it. But the reason I'm telling you about it is because I want you to be aware that this is something that will be coming out from Juno along with that cloud sponge, right? This one, I used it again today and I used it with their powder. I love doing my foundation with it and then going into the powder and pressing it in, it's good. It blurs your pores. I have no idea at this time what it's going to cost, but because it's Juno, I can't think it will be much. When Marlene and Michelle came here to visit me back in March, um, we were over at Ulta and I fell in love with this. It's the Too Faced Do You and it's a fresh glow setting spray. As we were standing in the store and spraying this, can you even see that? It's such, it's such a fine mist. I'm gonna tell you, that this is probably even finer than this on the spray. And this is pretty fine. <laughs> There's a ball bearing in here and you have to shake this up really good. Let me look in the 10 by, cause I'm wearing this setting spray today, okay? You have to do this in a 10 by to see it. But every once in a while, there's a little glitter that doesn't show up unless you look in a 10 magnification mirror. I don't see any of it in there today. But that's why you need to shake this up. You get 3.4 ounces in this and it's super fine mist. Looks really pretty on your face. Gives you just a hint of glow. I really like this a lot and I go back and forth between these two. This one I'm sure is probably ingredient wise better for you. Because <laughs> okay. you may say, well this, it's got a scent in it. They put fragrance in there. They have, but surprisingly this also has fragrance in it. The watermelon smell isn't just coming from the watermelon that's in this. This you have to shake up. I talked about this in my 2020 challenge video. It also has very fine mist. But like I said, it's it's not as fine as this one. This one has a more fine mist, but there ain't no glitter in this. <laughs> Either one is really good, I think. Before we move on into hair and skincare stuff, I wanted to talk about a couple of things that you ingest. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to talk about Tezo. <laughs> I bought these on Amazon, so I got, well, as you can see, I've gone through two. So there's four left. So six came in the box. I, I've been getting some really good sleep. Like I'm almost starting to get a little upset that I'm getting eight hours of sleep a night. <laughs> because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting so little done. <laughs> I'm sleeping all the time. Um, I attribute it to this because I've always had problems going to sleep. And at first I was using a product from z -Quil. It's their little gummies that have chamomile, lavender, and melatonin in it. And then I realized from watching somebody's video that melatonin isn't something I should be doing on a constant basis because it disrupts your own system from making melatonin. So I stopped that and I went into chamomile tea. The thing is, I don't really love the taste of chamomile. I mean, I've gotten to where I can accept it, but I just wondered if, I got Tezo, would it taste better to me? Because I just love Tezo teas. The Tezo Calm Chamomile Tea is also infused with rose petals and soothing herbs. This is a pleasant taste. Like the chamomile tea I was drinking before, I'm not really sure, I think it was from Celestial. Um, it just had a taste that I wasn't in love with. It didn't gag me, okay? I just didn't love it. <laughs> this I do. So I've already gone through two boxes. I look forward to drinking my tea at night before I go to bed. I just drink it like an hour before I'm going to bed. And then I go in there and I lay down and I go to sleep and I stay asleep and I love it. Here's what it says it has in it. Chamomile flowers, hibiscus flowers, spearmint leaves, rose petals, lemongrass, blackberry, peppermint, root lemon balm, licorice root, and um, yeah. Shh, watch. <laughs> Why did I show you that? Um, because I knew that my family would eat all these and I got them for me. <laughs> so I have a big Ziploc bag of these in my desk drawer and I will pop three of them out as a treat and that's like next to nothing. A fourth of a cup of these or 23 of them have 200 calories, 20 carbs, uh, but there are three dietary 
fibers in it and 14 sugars. That's 23. I only eat three. Okay, and that's my mid-afternoon snack. The reason I got these was because my BFF, Mary Ellen, Mary, from Mary Ellen After 60, she always talks about these chocolate-covered almonds that she eats, and I can't think of the brand. I can see the package in my head, clear as day, but I can't think of the brand. These actually satisfy my sweet tooth. Eat these like I eat them, not like my husband eats these. Obviously, he eats a lot of them, right? Like, honey, just because there's a nut on the inside does not mean you should just eat them like you do a handful of nuts. I'm going to bite into the middle of this because I want you to see how much chocolate is in it, okay? So you can see that there's a good amount of chocolate around it. Try to make it last until you just have the almond left in your mouth. And you're going to get sweet chocolate salt because there's sea salt on these chocolates. <laughs> and as you roll it around in your mouth, you get those flavors, all those layers of flavors. And it's so good. I just wait until I can no longer taste the chocolate in my mouth anymore. And then I'll pop another one in. So three is really good for me. I feel like I satisfied that craving that I had for something sweet and chocolate. A while back, I was telling you guys when I transformed into this hairstyle, I told you guys that I use the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play and it was the secret to all the texture that I had in my hair. I did not like the price tag and so you guys made suggestions. I don't know why I did that. I guess I wanted to show anybody who's never seen it. You want to make sure when you use a product like this that you tape off some of these holes or put your finger over it when you put it in your hair so that you don't get too much because let me tell you, too much, you'll be sorry. But if you use it just a little sprinkle here and there all through the day, you can pump up the volume. So I was wanting a more affordable version of this and you guys brought up one that I actually had been looking for and several others. This one does work so well. It works just like this one, except this is only like $4 a can and that would be the got to be powder full. Uh, I found that this works exactly like the Big Sexy Hair, as I'm sure the other ones that were suggested to me do, but this is great by the way. So it's a fave, I do use it. But I come across a product unexpectedly because one of you made this suggestion and you guys are so great. You always give me great feedback and suggestions and sometimes I jump on those and I did on this. I feel like I don't need to try any of the other powders right now because this one works so good and because I'm in love with this. So I'm gonna put right here who told me about this channel. And if you love watching people do their hair and she talks about this product called Enjoy this is dry wax. Now, if you remember the video where I came out with this hair, I said that it looks better on the second and the third day because it's been roughed up with product in it on my pillow at night and stuff, right? Well, I can get a really good look the first day and that's what we have here. This is first day hair behaving like second or third day hair because of this product. This is Enjoy Dry Wax. I just put a little bit on my fingers and pull, pull, pull. <laughs> And oh, I am so in love with this. If you watch her video though, you're gonna be astounded at what she can do with it. This is what I'm gonna to continue to rebuy over and over and over. I can tell you that right now. Ran out of several Mad Hippie things recently and I wanted to try some other brands and see what's going on there. And I picked up a brand called The Inky List and uh, this caught my attention. It's the Q10 Serum. I used to use a Q10 serum from Timeless a while back. I need to get some more of that because I did enjoy mixing that with a lot of other things. I'm a big believer in Q10. I've not had Q10 in my skincare routine for a while, but I'm enjoying mixing this with other things. So it's very reasonably priced, kind of like the ordinary, come on, out of there. It's very reasonably priced just like the ordinary you know the packaging is minimal brands like the ordinary in this one they're saying hey we're, we're not going to spend the money on the packaging instead we're going to put it all into the product do i like this better than timeless i don't know it's been too long since i used the timeless serum i would have to get it again 
and try them side by side. But I do remember that the timeless one is more runny. It's like you can drop it out. Whereas this is more like a moisturizer consistency. The next thing is from The Ordinary. Yes, you guys, I finally got my hands on The Ordinary. So I also was able to finally get the glycolic, but I'm not using that. I'll talk about why in a second. Uh, but this I've been wanting to try for a while. Now this is The Ordinary's niacinamide. And I have never used a product that was just niacinamide. I really do think this is making a difference. I put one drop of this in with this and uh, some my mad hippie stuff when I put it on my face and I do think that my pores looked more diminished than they did prior to me using this. Um, I got the niacinamide from Sephora during the VIB sale and when I picked that stuff up I was as I said able to finally score that glycolic toner. <laughs> It's 2% higher than the Pixi Glow, which is what I usually use. But I still wanted to give something else a try just to make sure. I mean, you don't know unless you try, right? And I picked that up, but I've not broke into it yet because I'm using this. They are 60 pads and I wipe my face with this every morning. After I've cleansed, I use these. And I like it. What I've always loved about the Pixi Glow Tonic is that it doesn't aggravate my skin. It doesn't do too much. It seems to do just enough. And this is also working in that same manner. After I'm done with this one, I will try The Ordinary. So this is the Derma E Firming DMAE Eye Lift Eye Cream. You guys might remember in my last empties, I used up my moisturizer that I use in the evening, which is the Mad Hippie Face Cream. It's full of peptides and all kinds of good stuff. I love it. And I said that <laughs> that's not going away. It'll be back. It's just a matter of time. Well, the reason is because I wanted to give this a try and it's the Derma E Skin Restore Advanced Peptide and Collagen Moisturizer. There is two full ounces in here and look, I've been using this. It just takes the smallest amount, so it could take quite a long time to get back to Maddie <laughs> It'd be using this. Um, so far, I really like both of these. I like this Eye Lift Eye Cream. I use this one in the evening, and I've been using the Hada Lobo during the day. Feels good. Like it. Gonna continue to use it. And that's it. What have you guys tried this month that you really loved and want us to know about? The whole Fritzy family wants to know what you think. What have you loved this month? Let me know below. I love learning from you guys. So yeah, and you know why? Because you're the best part of the Fritzy family. You knew that, right? I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. But if you're not, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. And I'm out. I have a, a weird a busy car. I got nothing. I swear, sometimes I just go on and on and on. It's like, blah, 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 like you're writing a dang book. I wonder who's going to play me in the movie. <laughs> I think Ulta should bring this out in colors, you know, like blue and green and purple. Yeah, that's, that's what colors are, Mary. Dumb. But I do want to do that today because what am I doing? This looks like a magic wand. Bibbidi, boppity, no, boop, boop, bop, boop, 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 Bippity boppity boo! Oh, 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 look, I have a mustache! Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Now I'm not even eight yet. What the heck? I like this powder so much that I want to tell you about it. What's this? <laughs> My goodness, you went on camera like that? Now, Tezo is paying me $7,000 to talk about their calm command. No, they are not. X that out! <laughs> okay, I'm just being funny. If anybody goes and tells Tezo, I'm gonna be real mad. <laughs> any of these other powders for hairs, you want to make sure hairs, really? <laughs> you want to make sure when you put these in your hairs, <laughs> all through the day you can pump up the volume. I feel like, I feel like I'm in Space Jam. Pump up the volume. Yeah? How'd that song go? Dun, 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 dun. No, that's Mission Impossible. <laughs>